Anyway, Steve Wynn is the latest CEO uh, who's saying, you know what, I'm going to share the wealth, uh, raise wages, give bonuses to his workers. He's not the first. He probably won't be the, the last. CRTV.com host Deneen Borelli is here, Democratic strategist. Michael Starr Hopkins got a lot of angry mail on you, young man. Me too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. And that was from your family. Uh, <laughs> My grandma was not happy. Exactly. And Colin McChain uh, also here on, on whether this is something we're not appreciating. The magnitude, Connell, well, of, of a lot of bosses feeling happy, sharing the loot. And that's going to make a big difference. We have to check our files, but I think in some ways you're my boss, so you look like you're in a pretty good mood today. Or definitely Not really. No, no, no. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that the, you made this point, though. We've actually had this conversation before that, you know, these companies um, got more money than they knew what to do with. And all right. of a sudden, these other things started happening that we didn't necessarily account for. So, you know, just looking at some of the numbers this morning, the president's approval ratings have started to move a little bit, just inching up around 40 percent of the average of the polls. But the congressional ballot from the Republican point of view has started to improve it's still negative but they you know could survive at least in the Senate with it being underwater I mean it back in right. uh, Christmas time or thereabouts it was plus 13 in the real clear politics average for the Democrats that was a huge advantage this morning I looked at it it was about plus eight it's actually a little bit less than that so that is getting better and you have to say most of that would be attributable uh, would be attributed to the economy getting better and people realizing that maybe these tax cuts are better than they thought they were. And there could be a delayed effect. Of course, that's what Republicans are counting on, hoping for another Reagan redux moment. Deneen, what do you think? Well, I want you to be happy as well because I want to keep coming back on your show, Neil. But so we're not I having all of you. <laughs> this guy is a problem, I mean... but maybe. Now, this is great news, I think, for all Americans. Even today, J.P. Morgan announced they're going to reinvest twenty billion dollars. You're in right. The US. That got lost in the sauce. It That's got lost in the sauce. Jamie Dimon, right. big Democrat, committing right. is all based on tax cuts. That's right. So more jobs. They're going to provide more loans to small businesses. They're going to increase wages to their uh, low-wage employees. This is good news all around for all Americans. And if you're working at AT&T, Walmart, BB&T, you're getting bonuses, you're getting higher wages, other benefits that are coming right. down the pike as well. It's all good news for all Americans. Except Michael, who just constantly <laughs> whines about it. Now, Michael, uh, she, she mentioned J.P. Morgan Chase. They're increasing wages by roughly 10 percent for better than 22,000 workers. Absolutely. They're hiring more than 4,000, likely. They're going to be opening up new branches. Uh, expand employee bonuses, annual awards, they're calling it, to $750 on top of commitments they've already made. That's not bad. That's not bad. Those are the signs that we want to see. Democrats want to see. You don't want to want to see. That. We do. It Democrats want to see a rising tide lift all boats. You don't believe. What we want is, you know, things like the minimum wage going up to fifteen dollars. And that's happening too. And it is. And that's that's something that I think all Americans. So what do you think support. of all the Democrats unanimously voted against this? Is that going to come back to bite them? No, I don't think so. Really? Absolutely not. I think we need to see the long term of this and how, you know, we look at states like Massachusetts that have raised Well, I just showed wage. you pretty strong short term stuff. Absolutely. But we want to see the long term and make sure this isn't a bubble. I mean, this wouldn't be the first time we've seen the stock market go up extremely quickly. Forget the stock market. Quickly. I just mentioned all that stuff. The average folks getting all this money. I, absolutely. But we need to make sure that we're not going to get trapped in the moment here of bonuses see, I'm now to get you to in six again. months to a year. I know. I, you don't know. I got yelled at last night. Yes, and so you should have. <laughs> uh, uh, to the point of it, Coming back to bite Democrats, I mean, there are those 10 Democrats in the states that the president won that are up for re-election in the Senate. And I think a lot of what, and I know that the base of the Democratic Party is not so happy with Senator Schumer right now, but a lot of what the vote was about the other day was those types of senators. So, yeah, for someone like a McCaskill or Donnelly or Heitkamp and those types of senators, yeah, that, it's got to be on their mind, or at least in the back of it right now, that, hey, if things are looking better than we thought... Do we pay the price for this? And then it gets much more difficult for the Democrats to take, at least the Senate. But I think yeah. the Democrats are going to have a problem. And I think that's why they had the shutdown happen, because it's a grand distraction from what we're seeing going on in the market. The market is, is clicking on all cylinders, the stock market. Uh, Americans are going to see more money starting next month in February in their paychecks. But to Michael's so, point, a lot of people don't connect with the market. They connect to this other stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Republicans, or the president, even well, they was saying sometimes when the president keeps mentioning the markets, I'm paraphrasing. I get a little worried. I, I, you know, I think they'll start connecting when they start seeing more money in their I wallets. See. My niece works in a supermarket. She gets 
way too much money is coming out of my check. So when people start <laughs> seeing more money in their pockets, oh yeah, and she's a, she's a young teen. Mm -hmm. So I think when more Americans start seeing, even if you're not even watching what's going on politically, you start seeing more money in your wallet. If you're getting that $3,000 bonus, I mean, my goodness, a lot of people have not gotten bonuses, you know, wherever they've been working at. So yeah. they're going to see the proof in the pudding. And I think the Democrats are going to have a tough time explaining why they did not support the tax cuts. What do you think of that? I, I mean, I think that is true. I think if, if the economy gets better, then it'll be tougher for Democrats to make an argument as to the president not being an economic success. But people aren't just voting on their pocketbooks. That's definitely, you know, one well, of the they biggest... Were the president, to Connell's point, the president's poll numbers would be a lot higher. Right. right. Absolutely. I think that, you know... So he some, hurts himself. He absolutely. still make the argument that the president's essentially a bad guy. That'll be the Democratic argument. Yeah, and but, try to keep well, I, don't, I don't think it's low. just that he's a bad guy. I think it's also when you're talking about long-term viability, how we, uh, you know, engage with other countries around the world, how Americans are looked at, the moral and Imperatives that we deal with. I think people certainly vote with their pocketbook, but it's not right. the only reason they vote. You know, think Americans get so what? The French are leery of us. Do you really think so? No, but I think there's something to be said about other By countries way, laughing at us. The United States for a state oh, He is. It's going to be. What do you think of that? I mean, I hope I can get an invite. I'll hang out with Macron. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't see the president inviting me. No, but no. If he's watching, yeah. come on.